Each summer, PSG are one of the most active teams in the transfer market. And just like last season, the clubs envisage making wholesale changes to their squad. Who will stay? Who will go? There remains many other dilemmas at hand. Many observers have even spoke of a revolution in regards to departures. Given many of the squad have fallen out of favour, whether through injury niggles, changing of their role, inconsistent performances or players on the fringe, there are many reasons that could push the PSG hierarchy to have a summer clear out. The legacy of the club's premature Champions League exit is in full swing and the time seems right for a change of tact and many players are in the firing line. Want to find out who? All you needed to do was ask. Here are the 8 undesirables PSG want to get rid of. We'll start up top. The Argentine no longer looks suited to PSG. Icardi initially arrived on loan in the summer of 2019 before joining permanently the summer after for a costly sum of $64 million. But Icardi has struggled in Paris. Despite impressing in his first six months, the 29-year-old forward is a shadow of his former self. He's registered only 5 goals in 30 appearances across all competitions so far this season and it's his off-field antics that have generated the most headlines, only adding to the disappointment further. The club wants to show him the door this summer, but where will he land? Back to Italy maybe. Another Argentine since his arrival at the club in January 2019, his name has often been linked with a move away. Inconsistent, he has often flattered to deceive. On occasions, he has performed well, but on others, he's proved invisible. But Paradez remains a valuable commodity in the transfer market, which is a primary factor in PSG wanting to part ways. Many clubs across Europe have been touted with holding an interest like Tottenham, Inter and Juventus. With names like that, it seems he'll land on his feet, but it remains to be seen whether he's willing to leave the luxury life of PSG. Julian Draxler the German is one of the players most certain to leave. Despite extending his contract last year to 2024, the PSG hierarchy wants to put an end to his five-year association with the club. In an interview during the international window in March, the German international evoked the possibility of a summer move. I'm happy to have played 90 minutes for the first time in a long time. I'm still convinced I have the quality to play for this team. My situation at the club isn't simple. I'm lacking rhythm. I need to play more matches ahead of the World Cup. We'll see what happens this summer. I haven't spoke about it personally with the national team coach, but he's already said that, as a team, he needs players in form who are match sharp. His time at the club is coming to an end and as he said himself, if he wants to make the play into the Qatar World Cup, he needs more game time. You know what to do Julian. Live in Kurzawa, remember him? Under contract with the club until 2024, Live in Kurzawa has gone into exile. He's disappeared, does he even play for the club anymore? He brings new meaning to the phrase, stealing a living. The French left-back hasn't featured in Maurizio Pochettino's plans this year. One solitary performance in the Trophy des Champions back in August and that's all we've seen of him. In truth, PSG sporting director Leonardo only extended his contract in the summer of 2020 in order to sell him for more money just a few months later. But the idea hasn't gone to plan. You can't play this Frenchman that easily. Annoyed, Kurzawa has made life difficult for the club's chiefs by refusing numerous offers to leave. According to L'Equipe, he even said to certain members of the club that the man who offered him his new contract renewal will leave before him. We're talking about you, Leonardo. Regardless, PSG's number 20 should finally leave the club in the coming months. Phew. Ander Herrera. The 32-year-old Spanish midfielder is tied to the club until June 2024. And despite a strong start to the season with some important goals and an exemplary attitude, his form has took a nosedive since that famous attempted robbery in the woods of Balloon. As a result, the hierarchy want the former Manchester United man gone in order to free up the wage bill. That said, his staggering wages could prove a stumbling block for any club that wants to buy him. A return to La Liga could be an option for the former Athletic Bilbao player. Tilo Keja, the defender is one of the players on the list that retain substantial transfer value. Bought for the sum of $39 million in 2018, Tilo Keja has failed to live up to expectations. Tied to the club until next summer, the PSG board want to recoup a transfer fee. But unfortunately for the club, the German international doesn't want to leave and would like to see out his contract. 
this saga could rumble on and it certainly doesn't appear like PSG are in the driving seat. No surprises there then. One of PSG's biggest disappointments this season. He arrived to much fanfare in the summer, but he's been the forgotten man due to a succession of injuries which has caused introspection amongst the PSG hierarchy. In the event of a lucrative enough offer, the Spanish legend will be shown the door, despite the player himself admitting that he'd like to see out the remainder of his contract. I have two years left in Paris, we'll try and do a third, one more then we'll see, but as long as I hold up physically, I think I'll be able to keep the right mindset. Well, this one is one to keep your eye on. Angel Di Maria This summer will mark the dawn of a new chapter at the club. Bar a huge change intact, the club's leading assist provider will leave Paris at the end of the season out of contract in the summer. Despite a clause in his contract allowing him to trigger a one-year extension, the Argentine is likely to be free to leave. After seven years with the French side, El Fideo will seek new horizons. Di Maria has been one of the principal victims of Lionel Messi's arrival as he has been resigned to warming the bench for the Parisians. As a result, this season has been one to forget. According to recent reports, the Argentine is really close to joining Juventus and the likes of Pablo Sarabia, Rafinha and Sergio Rico to the equation and the revolving door at PSG's headquarters could be spinning for months. Will PSG be able to get rid of all the dead wood this summer? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, we're sure you'll like this one too, The Incredible Curse of PSG's number 4.